Hey Geminis, welcome back to my channel. We're getting right into your general reading, see what is coming out for you guys, Gemini. We have answered the call. What is your soul calling you to do? And then we have the initiation, right of passage, crossing the threshold. So you're kind of right at um, the finish line almost. You know, what is your soul calling to do and answer that? You're right into uh, the crossing threshold, the right of passage here. All you have to do is just choose that path there but there is someone that you're dealing with that there's a lot of arguing going on you just can't seem eye to eye we have your energy showing up gemini's king of swords energy take it how it resonates we have libra here but you're highly in defense mode you guys are arguing not really seeing eye to guy it's like eye to eye i mean we have the three twos here two two of cups two of swords and the two of pentacles you see how that comes out two 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 look that up it's a number of balance that's coming in what you're feeling now is just defeat, loss. It's like you both know that it's kind of time to let go. Um, I'm getting another scenario where this person wants to talk to you about the way things ended. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of distortion or illusions or just rumors that um, about this person that just were simply not true, I feel like, for some of you. And this is causing them defeat. For um, a certain number of you, they're, they're feeling this defeat because they feel like they should have stuck up for you in some type of situation here. And now it's like they want to kind of talk to you and make things right, right? Sagittarius energy, balance things out. But they want to talk. Clarify the king of swords. You could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Leo energy. They want to talk and just be straight directly to the point here. I feel like you're getting your confidence back over a situation where this person is just emotionally unavailable. Um, the saying you are going to get the success that you want once you leave this codependent situation. For others of you, this past person wants to talk to you because they see... Um, how they were in the past but some they're just very again emotionally available just defensive towards you every time you talked about your feelings and they've realized that now they cut that out and they became more mature they not only want love they want you know success with you you know financial success as well you know successful in business and beavers yeah they definitely want to talk page of cups is page of pentacles is showing up twice we have the knight of wands energy um be careful because you could get pregnant by this person or, um, wow, okay, the scenario took a last turn. For some of you, you could be pregnant, or, yeah, this person could be a player, have a child here, or you could be dealing with someone that has a child, and you feel like they got trapped, and this child is not theirs. <laughs> That's just, yeah, you feel like this child is not theirs for some of you. I didn't mean to laugh like that, but I just got some crazy scenarios in my head that just came out, um. Let's dig deeper. Why is the Page of Pentacles showing up? You guys aren't communicating right now. Okay. Four of Wands, wanting stability. Yeah, you're showing up twice. I feel like you guys end up on a harsh note. If this isn't any children involved, you guys aren't talking right now. And they want to regain this back. They want to talk about this. They want to talk about words that were left unsaid. Communication issues. Yeah, and the Ten of Cups kind of wanted to fall out with the Nine of Cups. So they're kind of going back and forth too. This could be a Twin Flame trying to come back in but struggling here. Because they didn't defend you in the past from a karmic, from a third party situation. So their hesitation coming in and trying to work on this because they couldn't defend you. I mean, they, they didn't defend you. They didn't stick up for you. They chose a the karmic side, something like that as well. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. The magician wanting to manifest this, but disappointed. You're both feeling disappointed. Both feeling disappointed, but the love is there. The love is there. You guys are both in your heads about it. Yeah, look at that two of pentacles. <laughs> both in your heads and look what comes out. Four of swords. Two of pentacles, seven of pentacles. With the seven of cups and the five of wands so a lot of in your head both of you guys are in your head i think i just did virgo they're really in their heads too could be dealing with the virgo clarify the two of cups a lot of conflict and drama that happened in the past so i want to see what the seven of cups is about yeah this is judgment yeah this is a karmic cycle that's ending and I feel like it's the twin flame union is trying to come back together because the judgment and the sun card is here. The six of cups is here. You guys have had, has have a lot of past history. You broke up. You guys want to get back together here. 
I feel like the seven of wands that keep showing up is an implies you that's coming. This person's gonna try to defend himself. Um, they're gonna try to fend off the drama too if they are dealing with the karmic, this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Because they see the drama for what it is. Um, and they're gonna try to apologize over this deception that lies here and make this right. They're no longer like guarding their heart about this. They wanna talk to you. Nine of Swords, Six of Cups again, and the Death card in reverse. So Scorpio energy. You're hurting and so are they. When you, I feel like, you know, this is like at night when no one's around and you guys are both trying to sleep. There's so much, when you guys think of each other, there's so much sadness and grief here that, like, it just, it's a lot. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, yeah. Yeah, the High Priestess, the World, and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like there's going to be a lot. I feel like if you do want to talk to this person, there's going to be a lot of words that were said. Because it's like I trusted you and you took advantage of that. Like, why did you do this? Now you want to come back after you hurt me. You stabbed me one too many times in the back. Like, suffering caused me so much grief and pain. It's going to be like a very deep conversation here. Because you both are like not letting go until you both like need to speak up here. But it's a struggle on how. Clarify the moon in reverse. Yeah, Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. They don't... Yeah, they don't think you're going to want them back. Or you just... For some, they took an advantage of you financially. If this person was married, the higher fan, they're, they're losing everything. This person with the child that was married, they're losing everything now. And, and now they want to come back. After this deception over you finding out they were married or had a kid, they want to come back now. Yeah, lovers in reverse. They're not... Mm -mm. <laughs> not in their element right now clarify the emperor in reverse yeah there's a tire on this person this is for this twin flame energy this person is going through um they're going through a tire moment because they're angry at the choices that they made they realize that when a lover is in reverse it doesn't always have to be like you know breakups or anything um, arguments this is could also be the lovers right like losing the one you love because you chose another person that type of energy and this is where that defeatness is coming from you know it's feeling that defeated anger energy the six of wands are reversed but it's like you both are marrying each other because you're both vibrating on each other's um frequency here you know Feeling, if you're feeling exhausted, feeling lost, feeling kind of defeated here, this is this person's energy that you're feeling. And it's saying across this threshold here, we have a don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? You don't have to. You don't have to dim your light. You can get out of this here, right? Because the light is right there. And we have answered a call. What is your soul calling you to do? And for some, it's saying it's just kind of, He'll only leave the situation behind. I'm just going to get just one more nice card for you. Because that was a lot, right? We have star. Yeah, how can you mother yourself? So put this energy right now into mothering yourself, taking care of yourself, um, self-healing. If you have to yoga, meditate, work out, do things that make you happy, get grounded. Even if you have to go outside, take a walk, you know, put your feet in the grass. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature because that's what's happening right now. You know, it's time to connect with nature, get grounded, and start taking care of yourself. Take a step back from this and answer the call, answer your soul calling. All right, Geminis, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Take care.